Former Buckeye turned on the Jets. In his final four drives, he threw for 132 yards, going 12 of 14 with a passing and rushing touchdown, leading the Bears to 17 points. And Boog, the wry smile when Fields' young man saying, it's a little <laughs> slow for me. Now, there's context to that. We played the whole bite there for you, right? But is there something to the idea that Fields is going up against his own Chicago defense in practice? It's obviously super talented. Yeah, Laura, there's something to that. And, you know, me being from the country, I'm going to give you an old country saying. My mother used to tell me, she said, hey, son, don't let your mouth write a check that your butt can't catch. <laughs> so there's a lot of defensive coordinators around the league making notes of that by Justin Fields saying, hey, the game is a little slow. Now, all jokes aside, he did play well. I, I love to go back to the pre-draft process and listen to what people said about Justin Fields. The knock on him that he kind of processed a little slow. Maybe the ball didn't come out. He wasn't as accurate. If you watched him play in game one, yes, he missed a couple throws. He made some rookie mistakes. But overall, I thought he was phenomenal. The ball came out quick. Uh, if nothing was there, he pulled it down, made some runs with his feet. Uh, his athleticism showed. And if you're Matt Nagy and you're Ryan Pace and you're the Chicago Bears, somebody please humor me and tell me one reason why Justin Fields wouldn't be the starting quarterback. Like that sound you hear right now is Andy Dalton calling the u haul and, hey, you know what? I'm not going to need to move to Chicago. Let's just keep renting right now because after the season, I'm going to be gone. Justin Fields should be the starting quarterback of the Chicago Bears, and he didn't do anything in game one to make me change my mind. Wow. Book. I mean, we're all trying to recover from that burn you just put on Andy Dalton, but I'll leave it ah. there. We'll, we'll, yeah, right. But speaking of Matt Nagy, he told Peter King, quote, I'm going to do what's best for Justin Fields, not for Matt Nagy. He said people can say the save your job deal. Let me tell you how much I care about that part. OK, I don't. That's me trying mm. to emulate Matt Nagy. But Mina, how much pressure is on <laughs> Nagy at this point? Uh, there's a lot, Laura, but it's telling from that quote. Uh, Matt Nagy's been in the NFL a lot longer than Justin Fields. He knows how to give quotes that won't get him in trouble. I think <laughs> if you compare those two to each other. Um, what he's tapping into there, or touching on rather, is the fact that the Bears are in a complicated situation because it seems like there's a lot of different incentives. Doing what's best for Fields. Doing what's best for the team. Saving Matt Nagy's job. I would argue that all of those incentive, incentives are aligned right now around the notion that Justin Fields yep. should start sooner rather than later. Because after the first two drives, he looked a little jumpy. He really just looked like the guy we saw at Ohio State. Yes, he needs to speed up the clock a little bit quicker. Uh, but for the most part, the playmaking he gives you, I mean, just look at this crossbody throw there. Watching it off of the boot action, you think he's going to hit the guy in the flat and check it down, but that's not Justin Fields. He will go for the big play. There's a level of aggression to his game. And so when he talks about the game slowing down, I realize, you know, that quote might uh, provide some bulletin board material, but I think that's what he's talking about. He's it for him. It feels like it did in college. He's making the sort of plays he did. He's aware that the level of competition is higher, but it's so good to see that sort of aggression we saw from him because it's why the Bears drafted him. Well, the numbers were slow to begin, and then he got better as the game went on. So obviously, it must have slowed down from during the course of the game. But Booger, <laughs> did I hear you say that Andy Dalton should be packing up and leaving to Andy Dalton? He let said me just it. say that Andy Dalton is an underrated quarterback who has never really gotten a chance to do what he can do. And I think he's the perfect kind of bridge guy in Chicago that allows Matt Nagy to do what he did with Patrick Mahomes hey, in Kansas City. Alex Smith played for one year. They put Mahomes in the last game of the year. The rest is history. They didn't have to rush him along. Andy Dalton can serve the same yeah. role as Alex Smith, be a mentor, be somebody for Justin Fields to watch and observe. And the Bears still can win with Andy Dalton while they wait for Justin Fields to be ready, but you disagree. Listen, Shefty, if, if you think that Andy Dalton gives him a better chance to win than Justin Fields, I got a lot of land at the end of a rainbow to sell you. And guess what? The Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, and all of them are going to be waiting there on us. If you watch that, I mean, if, if, if you just watch the playmaking ability of Justin Fields in the first half, like forget everything else. When nothing was there, he can make a play. And if you look at the Bears offensive line, the offensive line is not great. So they're going to need a quarterback that's going to be able to improvise back there when that offensive line acts like a sieve. So I, I think when you put everything together, Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, as Mina talked about, you put the offensive line and it being kind of shaky, 
play the young man. He gives you the best chance to win. It's rare when all things line up and point to the, the specific answer. Right now, they all line up and point to Justin Fields. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.